What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me. Um, my name is Jessica and I am a mother and a makeup lover. Man, I feel like it has been so long since I sat down to film because this whole week me and my whole family were sick. As you can see by the title, we have um, the, you know, review, first impressions, demo of the P. Louise Cancelled Palette. This is her nude palette which I will insert, you know, a little nice up close clip of the packaging. And also, um, I am going to be doing swatches of the whole palette. So if you want to see, you know, swatches, hear my impressions of this palette, and then do this stunning look, then you already know what to do. Please just keep on watching. So I think I'm going to do the swatches going down because I don't really have a lot of space on my like swatching arm. So um, yes, I'm going to be doing the rows down this way. So my son's game is very loud, but if I keep trying to turn it down, he's just going to keep turning it back up. So I really apologize that I'm going to have to kind of shout over for a minute. But obviously this is a little bit up close, the vibes that we're going to be going for. So of course I'm going to be starting priming with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number 2. So I'm going to start by taking this shade right here called Tail, which is a dark gray. And I'm literally just going to put this into a cut crease shape. take the shade front page and just the littlest tap of canceled I just feel like it blends a little bit easier when I add a little bit of that kind of warmer shade not too much but just like the littlest amount so front page and then just a dabble dabble of canceled and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this on my P. Louise uh, Two Lost in My Blend, number 117 brush. And 
then I'm just gonna take the shade Hearsay, which is literally just like the most beautiful gray shade ever. And I'm just gonna take this on a makeup shock brush, which is just a fluffy, little small fluffy brush. Further blend this all out. And then after I am done, I'm just gonna go through all my shades again. Just to deepen it, as deep as this side. Look, look how freaking smooth that is. Oh my god, okay. And cut out my crease and reapply my base so for the little little liner moment I'm gonna be taking the shade hashtag then media and then report and then I'm gonna go in with rumor and this little shiny portion I'm gonna do that last so we're just doing the color so I'm just gonna take it on this little tiny brush starting with hashtag I'm just gonna wiggle. Look at that pigment. Like literally just, literally just touch, touch the pan. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Done. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush. Media, which is just a slightly lighter shade. And I'm gonna blend the front and the back. You could already see the difference there. And then Report, which is like the kind of mustardy yellow shade. Again, with the back and the front. I'm gonna go back in. My first two colors, and then rumor in the back, in front. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this line up because obviously I want it to be nice and thin. And I'm gonna go back in with my uh base shade number one because I want something I want it to be very light that way the white is very vibrant take the shade tail which is the dark gray and I'm gonna go ahead and make a wing starting under my lashes Now that I have that wing on, I'm going to just go in with front page, and I'm just going to start blending this out. Cleaning 
the brush off again, I'm going to go in with Hearsay, which is the lightest gray. And I'm just going to tap this over this portion of my lid. And now I'm taking Drama, which is the white. Matte white. I am going to pack this down. So I'm going to go back through all my colors and I'm going to just smoke out this liner and then I'm going to take the black on a little flat brush and just really closely line my waterline or line my tight line right here so that way when I go into my lashes the lash bond kind of has something to blend into and then we can do the glitter. to be taking the shade misleading right here oh my god I opened this palette my eyes went straight to that color so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a pigment primer because I really want this shimmer to stick in a liner shape and then I'm just gonna take this small detail brush and I'm gonna apply this shimmer base in the front end of this and in the tail end of this and then I'm gonna take the same brush and then just take some of that shimmer and pop it on watch when I get closer you can't really see it at that angle but watch when I get closer you're gonna be like yeah So these are what the eyes look like, you know, before we have any lashes. Of course, lashes pull everything together and we finish everything up. Um, because this is a, you know, demo review for the impressions of the P. Lee's palette, I'm going to go ahead and do my face for a separate video. And then we could come back, lashes, and um, lower lash line. Like, let's finish this bitch up. Alright, so my face is done, which this is going to be my next video, so stay tuned for that. Full face impressions, new, new goodies. Mm -hmm -hmm. So let's zoom back in and finish up this eye. Oh, so I'm going to take some black in my waterline. Alright, and I'm going to start by taking tail, the gray. I'm going to Smudge this liner out with it. And then I'm going to take front page. I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Okay. Super quick and simple. I like that. So, um, let's move on to lashes. So, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm going to be taking my Beauty Creation lashes in the style I Can Afford It, which look like this. Watch, bitch. Just watch this. So, I always line my lash line, and then I always put glue on my lash band as well. And then it kind of just does the work for you it, um, it just sticks right where you applied the glue to your light lash line you know 
you know? Okay, so I went through and I styled my hair. I feel much more cute, let me tell you. Is the completed look. I'm ecstatic with the way everything turned out. I'm really, really happy. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys are going to pick up the new P. Louise canceled palette because honestly it's a game changer for the nudes i am i was 100 percent impressed by everything the way it blended i love all the different colors and honestly it's not even my bulkiest palette so it is a yes for me i'm definitely gonna have plenty more tutorials with this palette coming so definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and roll the clip <laughs>